In the United States, 38 million households are considered housing insecure, meaning they pay more than 30% of their income on housing, or they live in substandard or overcrowded housing. The median rent for a two-bedroom apartment in the United States increased by 15% between 2005 and 2015, while median rent a household income decreased by 3%. In the United Kingdom, the average house price is now more than eight times the average income making it difficult for many people to afford to buy a home. One of the key factors contributing to the housing crisis is the way in which capitalism incentivizes property developers and landlords to prioritize profit over the needs of tenants. Under capitalism, property is often seen as a commodity to be bought and sold, rather than as a basic human need that should be met for everyone. As a result, Developers and landlords often prioritize expensive, high-end housing that can generate larger profits, rather than building affordable homes for people in need. This has led to a shortage of affordable housing in many areas, particularly in urban centers where demand is high. Additionally, capitalism has led to the commodification of housing, turning it into a speculative investment rather than a place to live. This has resulted in a system where property values are constantly rising, making it difficult for many people to afford to buy a home or even to rent one in some cases. Overall, the housing crisis is just one example of how capitalism can lead to social and economic inequality, with those at the bottom of the economic ladder struggling to meet basic needs like housing, while those at the top reap the rewards of a system that prioritizes profit over people.